So come on site to install um, the power bank. Um, I said we'll do it right actually here now. We've got the power bank on here. Uh, we've got some of the equipment. The solar panels have been installed. Um, I'll show you that now. Um, and so we're just going to screw the unit on the wall. No, 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 no. <laughs> not it, not it. Uh, the manual. Oh, the screwdriver. I'm sorry if I'm sweating because it is bloody hot here. It is really hot. I've got a fan here, as you can see. And this is the small connector that comes. This is the AC connector. So just make sure you connect it correctly and the correct polarity. Tighten up the compression gland and it should just clip into it. It is polarized and it will clip into the bottom of the unit. Okay, I haven't connected the solar yet. So let me just check that the unit is working and turn on the, the power. I haven't actually put the solar panel on yet. I'll turn the power on and I'll put the thing on so it's operating. And we'll see if we've got power coming through. Yeah, the, the inverter light is on. Um, thank you. Uh, switch these on. Have we got lights? Oh yeah. So we've got the two fluorescents are working. So we're supplying power and we've got a power safety socket. So the next thing is now, as I explained to you before, They've connected these live, so unfortunately, I have to be very careful. You see, there's a lot of energy through this. You see the energy, and this is just off the power bank, so there's still a fair bit of power. Um, so it, 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 will, it will hurt you. I've had to cut the wires, and unfortunately, the wires were too short, uh, too long, sorry. So I've had to cut the wires. I'm going to put a connector block on, so I'll do that now, and then we can complete, the, complete everything. So we've um I put up a couple of fluorescent lamps. I put a socket, I just need to get a chalk block to insulate the wire. I need to connect off the, the unit and run the solar panels in. The solar panels are already in the roof. Uh, I'm absolutely sweating, it's so hot. It's about 35, maybe 30, 38 degrees. It's really hot. Um, I have brought a fan with me. Um, you can see, it keep cool. Um, I brought one of the um, big cubes, really useful on a site like this. So absolutely spot on. Um, once we've completed this, then we'll go up onto the upper farm and install that, and hopefully everything will be uh, up and running. A couple of hours. I did use cables, as I say, to, to hold the cables, and much easier than than than, chop, than, um, than, 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 than normal cable clips. So, okay, we've installed this uh, this system here. We put a couple of lights on here, fluorescent lights. Uh, I'll switch the fluorescent lights off here. So we've got a couple of fluorescent lights. Uh, we plugged the fridge in. The unit is now charging. Um, if we've got the key, let me just show you inside it. Um, it's not the neatest of jobs, but we are in the jungle. So <laughs> we generally be in the jungle. So you see here, um, fans are actually running at the moment. Uh, batteries here. The unit's on, on, power on, it's charging and inverter is on so all things are running um this is a really good test of the inverter because at the moment it's about 35 5 36 degrees i think it's really hot um the temperature so i'll lock the unit here i lock it with the key i'll leave the key here for now um we just need there's a little bit tidying up just to do some on the cables there because i've had to shorten the cables so we need some sort of insulator over the connector, but I just put it on for now just to test it's all functioning. So everything seems to be working. We've plugged in this big old fridge into the unit. Uh, so, uh, yeah, the fridge is on. Um, it needs a plenty good clean. So it does actually stink a bit. But anyway, uh, I don't know, the fridge is working. Um, it just needs, needs cleaning and uh, away it goes. So we'll leave this running for now. Um, we'll see how we get on. You can see the battery voltage is on there. Uh, one thing to notice if you see the battery voltage dropping during the day, then we know the fridge is drawing too much power. It's dropping a little bit, um, but in fact, you see it's fluctuating, so it's, it's not really powered back up again. So 23, 23, so it's just fluctuating slightly, but hopefully, once the fridge reaches temperature, then the refrigerator will also switch itself off. 
Um, okay, right, we're gonna go to, we're gonna go um, about one and a half kilometers away from here, a bit of a hike. Um, we'll take our, my fan, uh, my standard joke, my biggest fan, uh, take it with us. And this is one of our power banks, cube. This, this is a beast. This is a, a kilowatt inverter and a kilowatt battery. So we use it, we use it recharging any of our tools and anything else. So it's a great piece of kit to, to, to take with us. So, um, right, I'm gonna put that in the trolley. And some oh, drive there. We're gonna hike it there. So I'm gonna be stacking up a little bit better before we start the hike. Um, I've already drank about a litre of water because it's so flaming hot. Um, it's used in a really sort of roughish area here. Um, it's nothing glamorous at all, um, but it's perfect, absolutely perfect. So we are going to go further into the jungle, and it is genuinely a jungle. Um, and you'll see that from the previous videos. It is a farm, but it's more like a jungle. Um, and we will install and commission the second system, which we'll do that now. Thank you. So we're now off to the uh, other farm. Um, oh, so we're now off to the other farm uh, or jungle. Um, I brought uh, one of my tools, mosquito repeller. There's lots of mozzies here. Um, they literally will eat you alive. So uh, it's it's really hot. Okay. Oh. They all, they all. Just uh, heading on one of the trail paths. Um, so we'll have a couple of K walk uh, with all the equipment. So, uh, last time these guys did it, it was absolutely belting down. Over 30. It's well over 30, yeah. It is very, very hot. So, um, anyway, things you do to prove our equipment. There's no, people can't say we sit in an office, we never test our gear, we don't try it in real life. Because I can assure you, we do try it, we do travel, and everything that we sell, we try, tested ourselves. Nobody else. So at least we know any problems, any issues, whatever. We install it, we commission it, we use the equipment, we make sure it's good, ready for sell. So these systems are really good. Oh, look at that. That is hard work. Right, we're here. This is remote, uh, very remote. Um, I think the first thing is, because it is so flaming hot, Let's, uh, where's the power bank? Where are, we, where are we actually going to put everything? It's on there. Uh, where are we going to screw it to? That. Right, okay. There's the wires. There's no, oh, there's a piece of wood there. We're going to try and work out. Okay, this is a little bit more difficult than the, the downstairs one. Uh, the, other, the other location, it's more remote as well. Uh, I think what we need to do is, let's put the fan on. Let's get the place, well, our fans, let's try and cool down a little bit because it is the walk, the hike, I should say, um, I'm hot. All right. You are right about snakes, isn't it? What's this, the uh, cobra? I know I've seen a couple of those cobras around and they're pretty horrible things. Um, you wouldn't realize uh, this is, believe it or not, this is Hong Kong. And this is actually in the jungle. Of Hong Kong, so we we'll, 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 can't get much more remote, and there is definitely no electricity here. They've mounted the solar panels on the roof because um, if you look at the structure, um, it's not particularly strong, and we wouldn't, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't climb. There's no way I was going to climb up on that roof. So uh, anyway, uh, switch on the uh, power bank. Um, get some breeze going. We need it, and uh, maybe have a drink. Uh, no alcohol, just water at the moment, so uh, and then we can work out how to install this system. Are you alright, Phil? The wasp nest, yeah. The wasp's nest? Where? There's wasps part of the wasp. Oh, I can see wasps everywhere. Uh, nice. Yeah, well, 
you couldn't get any more primitive than this. So uh, it's not particularly glamorous, but let's see what we can do here. We can get something up and working. We seem to have got a, a big cockroach inside the, for some reason, inside the unit. So we'll try and get it out first. Really interesting place, so. spider. What spider? Is it a golden orb? Where? Can't even see it. Oh God, yeah. It's huge. Wow, look at the spiders we get here. <laughs> as long as you're not afraid of spiders, there's plenty of that going around. Right, I found the wasp nest. Oh, and where's the wasp's nest? I am moving. Where is their wasp's nest? Under that table. Okay, well we'll, go, we'll stay this side anyway, we've got a wasp nest. Okay, well we'll just keep well clear of the wasps. Keep clear of the spiders. Well, we're, I'm going to be here for now, so if they, if they attack, we'll, be, we'll get out of here. Let's just see what we can do, and then we'll see it screw it up, and then if they attack, we'll, we'll be out of there. We'll have to sort the wasp's nest out. So, uh, I'm not, I'm not going to stay around, because they're dangerous. I'll watch this. I'll put a few in, because the next end of the thread of the... Uh, okay, I'll put a few on each one. I'll put a couple on each one. The end of the thread of the screw is not catching. Okay, let's try again. It's really not that good. Solar panels, I'm not going to cut these wires um, this time, we can cut them later. It sounds so good. So we can just tap, we'll, we'll, we'll tidy up on a roll. Unfortunately, we've got no. Uh, uh, I do find cable ties very easy to use. Problem here because of uh, wasps. Let's see. We may have to not complete this um, until we get somebody else to come here and help clear some of the area. Because it needs, um, it needs more professional people because these things are quite dangerous. Um, so apparently there's a um, pearl spotted the wood where we're going to put the, the lights are actually crawling with the wasps. So I'll finish just wiring this up. We're very close. Uh, but we can't work by that wood. So a piece of wood there, we're just going to mount the lights next to it. And you can't see very clearly, but that piece of wood there, there well. is absolutely crawling with wasps. Um, okay, so we've got everything wired, we've got the two lights, so all we've got to do is connect the lights. They're fairly easy, so we'll prep everything and we'll leave it. And you just need to clear those wasps and they, they can be connected. Covered it in the storm. That's why there's Okay, well. I'm not going to open the fridge or anything, so we'll just, uh, we'll just pack up. Um, that's the wire for the two lights. Uh, so just leave the lights and then the other wires there. So the wires are fairly straight. Be careful, the wasps are right there. Okay. Okay, I can see them everywhere. It's by here as well. So just take what we need to take back in the trolley. Uh, with our stuff and, uh... 
two complete solar systems installed in two hours it's not bad two systems two hours and that's including lighting we haven't put the two lighting up here but everything else is done um, the unit's waterproof and the nice thing about it, it's an all-in-one unit so everything is there uh, it's charging we, we know it's charging because it's charging and we can look at the the voltages coming up uh, on the on the battery so we can just uh, see the voltage coming up nicely So we're going off this site now. Um, unfortunately, we can't complete it. Uh, we've got a wasp invasion. Um, we've been very careful because if these things attack, then we'll be in serious trouble and they can fly faster than we can run. So, um, and they are quite aggressive. So uh, we've wired everything up. The inverter's working, power's working. Everything's been generating power. It's all good. So um, I'm starving, <laughs> I need lunch. Um, I've unplugged the AC side of it, but I've connected everything up. So uh, we're going to head out of here now. Uh, no, everything's all we've got everything. So we're head of everything, and uh, apart from wiring a couple of lights up, and the bot the bottom one is working anyway. So we're heading back. Oh, having a slight disaster taking the stuff back. <laughs> uh, this is the the wonders of remote locations. Anyway, at least one thing that that cube is pretty tough. So um, we're okay. Get the trolley. <laughs> should be okay a bit once we get off the rough ground you can see we mounted the panels on the roof of the building it seemed to work quite well with the corrugated and um, they put a white um, this screen behind it which probably is a good idea and it prevents the panels getting too hot you see uh, battery voltage is about 24 volt it's running the fridge of course once the fridge gets the temperature then it'll be fine and we've got these lights and stuff so Let's just see how it gets on. So that was hard work. It didn't take long. Um, it was just hard work. Um, you know, I'm 60 years old and probably uh, at this temperature, it's bloody hard work. But uh, anyway, a couple of hours and we've done it. We've got both systems up and running. So they're really nice systems and the batteries are charging well. Our solar panels are working well. MPPT is working well. So there was, it was very simple. It was just a simple plug, play, um, Scarpa, let's go. Thanks for watching the video. Cheers.